and we mm-hmm. are live in them streets. What's good, y'all? How you feeling? How you living? How you doing? Oh, snap. It's about that time. Oh, man. You know what the fuck time it is. Here we go. Oh, let me go ahead and retweet the tweet. You know how we do. All right. Make sure that the streets know. Oh, man. Either they don't know. Either they don't know, don't, don't show. show. Or don't care what's <laughs> going, going on in the head. Boom, 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 boom. Man, I made some bomb ass stir fry earlier, though. <laughs> that shit was smacking, bro. He said, man, I made some bomb ass stir fry earlier. Bro, that shit was hitting. I don't know. Oh, I, I did myself. Had a little, you know, cut up some, uh, cut up some little, uh, some, some steak strips, had some shrimp in that thing, had a teriyaki mm-hmm. sauce going, had all the veggies in there, got some, some, some noodles in there. <laughs> Walk that thing up. Oh, bro. Not walk that thing up. Oh, walk that thing up. Did you just say walk that thing up? Not walk. Walk, nigga. W O K. I thought you said walk that thing up. I say, damn. No, nah, oh, bro. What you talking about? How would I do that with some stir fry? Let's see. This man is whopping that damn stir fry. What's going on out here? <laughs> this man is a menace. Hey. This man is a menace. Call me Dennis. Call me Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> this man is a menace out here. Hey yo, what up? Hey yo, what's good? What's hey good? yo, what's good? Hey yo, hey yo, what the fuck? Hey yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what's Bob, good? What's good? What up, Bobby Yaga? Draft. That's what be watching right now. The draft lottery. Oh yeah, you, hey, that's what I'm. I'm like draft lottery starting up. He like, Here damn, y'all niggas had to go live now during the lottery. My bad. It was on Tuesday. Sorry, yeah, it's y'all. Gonna, it's, it's going to be quick though. It's going to be. Quick. Sorry, y'all. We apologize. What up, Mike Rich? What up, Mike Rich? What's good? What's up? What's what up, up? What up? What up? Y'all just getting up in here, bruh. Come on, Pistons. Let's get this number one pick, baby, so we can get Victor Walamata Baka Baka Baka. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of scares me, though. reason why he scares me is because he's so tall. I'm like, man, I hope this dude don't end up becoming injury prone because we saw what happened with Jet Holgram last year, the guy that drafted um, by OKC. He didn't even play his rookie damn year. Mm-hmm. And he's like seven foot one, very lanky guy. You know, See that's the thing so, with them, them lanky tall yeah, that's players. That's what I'm saying. Like that's they, they, they show, they, they show his life is not good, bro. They get injured once as a rap, bro. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. Time. oh yeah, Mike Rich. They definitely talking about it on Dead End Sports tonight. Yeah, so definitely, wow. soon when we're when we're done here, that man John Morant. Go, 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 you you want to talk about a menace? Sports YouTube. You want to talk about a menace? I know. Go to Dead End Sports YouTube after this. After we're done recording here. Go to Dead End Sports YouTube channel. They are definitely going to be talking about the John Morant situation. They're going to be talking about the Philly, the collapse of the uh, Bo- Philly and Boston <laughs> Celtics series. So, Yo, yeah. Bro, Doc Rivers, bro. I know what that man fed up, bro. What up? I know oh, that man. Yeah, don't go to Dane. Bro, no, I'm it saying. He, I know he yeah. fed up, bro. And then he, yeah. Bro, I think it's a conspiracy against Doc, bro. Because every time, no matter where he go, bro, the same shit happened to this man, bro. <laughs> yeah. His players just collapse on him at the final hour, bro. Like, how the hell? Hey. Hey Stover, since you in here, real quick, uh, me and FIFA, we doing our. I think it's gonna be our first R and B. Oh, I can tell you too, Granddad, because I, I I forgot you're not in the because you're not a damn iPhone user. But um, we're doing this Friday. We're doing Frank Ocean versus the Weekend. Cause I, I told man the only reason why, like to be honest with you, like over these last couple of weeks, and you know I've had this feeling like it, it, it jumps at me sporadically throughout the years. Especially just doing dead hip hop, but you know you ever been in the mood where you just be like, man, I just don't feel like listening to hip hop, and like mm-hmm. I literally, like over the last let me like two weeks, I have not feel like listening to hip hop. The only reason why I did the thing with Mike is because it was already agreed, and we already agreed to do that like months ago, like it was yeah. already set in stone. So I didn't want to back out from that. But other than that, I told people, I'm like, bro, I'm like, I'm, I'm just tired of hip hop right now. Like, I mean, I'm gonna get back to listen to it. Don't get me wrong. No, yeah, no, I feel no, bro. You need I'm that just, cleanse, bro. It's yeah, like, it's, I'm just, it's like right over, now. Bro. I'm just 
I'm just not in the hip hop mood, bro. So nah, bro. me and FIFA, me and FIFA doing we, we doing Frank Ocean versus uh with the weekend. Of course, FIFA is representing the weekend. Um, I'm gonna tell you right so, now. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing I'm, I'm gonna be that's gonna be probably well, it's R and B. It's gonna be chill, but that's gonna be my least active because I only know a handful of weekend and a handful of Frank songs. So look, oh, really? don't expect really? me to be over there wild and like crazy and going for the request. But I'm gonna yeah. enjoy myself because like I like the change yeah. of pace. I like the change of pace. Yeah, we're doing, still, a, yeah, we're doing a doing Friday one. You still what? I still though. We I don't know why we, this man's still afraid, but we still need to get that that uh, that, 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 that battle that? with Ken, bro. Like why yeah, can't we? Get, I, Stevie Wonder, I want the soul, not. bro. I want the soul, man. Come on. I don't know why he can act this scared. This man's so scary, bro. Why? Everybody, everybody in Dead End has stepped into the I Friday bro, arena, bro. bro niggas him. outside of Dead End have stepped in before right. this man, bro. What is he right. so afraid of? Right. What's his yeah, yeah, it's over. Yeah, yeah, it's over. Obviously, FIFA has the weekend. Yes, yes, they do, and possibly. And look, I'm giving y'all some exclusive shit in here on Dead End Gaming. If long as uh, Mike's and Rod's schedule is clear, the June what's the, what's the two weeks after after June sixteenth Friday, that's going to be a Mike C Town and Rod Makami versus Billy Woods. So. Uh, of course, uh, Rod represented Mike Hami and Mike C. Tower representing Billy Wood. So, long as they, if they schedule, is they show that their schedule is going to be clear? Because I'm going to be out of town. I'm going to be in Detroit. That, that's Father's Day weekend. I'm going to be in Detroit uh, visiting my dad. So, um, and then FIFA. And then, you know, I think they talked about in the live last Wednesday. So, it's like, yeah, Mike Hami versus Billy Woods. So, that's a possible June 16th matchup. Just just to give y'all a heads up. What up? What up? What up? That should be good. Kevin, what up, Kevin? What up, Kevin? Kevin Kevin, Kevin this bitch, bitch. Up? Kevin good. this bitch, what hey, up? What, up? what up, what up, what up, what up? So, power yeah, days, I so, see, what up, what up, y'all, come on in, y'all, get yourself yep, comfortable. So the first RRB <clears throat> R Friday is this Friday, weekend versus Frank Ocean, so it should be, feeling great, uh, Bloodbath, man, how you feeling? Yo, Bloodbath, did you, did you see the link I sent you, uh, the battle I sent you earlier? What up, Christian, what's good? What up, what Christian? up, what up, what up? What up? Till can't stop ducking. I know, I know, Stover. He can't just, stay ducking, bro. I don't know what he it is. Stay ducking. I don't know why. He, and he don't even explain it. He don't even explain why he don't want to do it. He just said, you got to pay me. Nah, bro. You got to I love me some Frank Ocean. <laughs> I love me some Frank Ocean. See, this, so okay, Kev, so, this is where you so, need so to be. Kev going to be team BZ this Friday. Right, I'm see, pretty Kev, sure. you need to be, you, this is where you need to be back at, back in the driver's seat and the hosting seat for this one. I, look, I'm going to try my best, y'all. I'm gonna try my best to to I'm 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 gonna brush up on my weekend and Frank Ocean joints. Hey, hey Kev, I, I text you, I text you my Frank Ocean my Frank Ocean playlist and make sure it gets your approval. Make sure you like it. Uh, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying. Make sure you like that joint. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready whenever you are. Yeah, I approve it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'll give it. I'll give it the old review. You're right. Yeah, you, got, you, got, you got to run it by your manager. He's still your manager. You know that, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, no. look, just look. Managers can still manage in other cities, in oh, other yeah. states. Oh yeah. Now, I mean, just because he's in DC doesn't mean he's still not manager. What up, Jay Triplet? What's good? What you know what I'm saying? Just like that YG playlist. Bruh, the YG playlist was official, bruh. I am so <laughs> shocked that I that I lost that one, actually. Especially in that last round when I was responding. I just knew I was going to win with my Scoop Boy Q joint. That that was crazy. That was crazy. But then again, I felt good for FIFO because at least he won with his boy Nipsey. So he would have been... FIFO would have been crushed if he'd lost with Nipsey. Because mm -hmm. Nip died. That, yeah. Nip, Nip getting that extra little yeah, he passed got away. Yeah. He got yeah. a little love for that one. The bias was heavy. It was. It was. It was. You yeah. can uh, start up whenever you're ready. Yeah. So we're we going to hit that ad break first. So, y'all, we're going to hit a 60-second ad break. So, in 60 seconds, I'm, I'm, uh, controllers. I only see, see, see one go. I only see one go control. Oh, two. I see two. A, controllers I see. a little light tonight, but it's uh -huh. all good. A little light yeah. tonight. But yeah. but you know what? Enjoy this 60-second this yeah, ad. Maybe maybe you'll get a promotion, from, a promo from, from Frank Ocean or The Weeknd. Who knows? But we're going we gonna, to uh, see y'all in a minute. Mm-hmm. Mike Rich said, to this day, I'm still bumping that Schoolboy versus Q playlist. That's what's up. Mm. Yeah, that was, that I know was that's what overcreate these playlists and they're out. It's out there. It is there. It's in them streets. Go ahead and listen to it whenever you want to. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Oh, suck it, suck it now. Yeah, man. Oh, it's, uh, it's about to get about to get a little wild, you know. 
Look, what's about to get wild? What's, what's about to get wild? What are you talking about? I don't talk about. I don't know nothing. nothing hey, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? This man says it's about to get wild. <laughs> it's about to get wild. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Hate to see it from what YG. Yeah, he you did know. fall off. Yeah, but he had like, like, yeah, the first them them them. What was that? <clears throat> My crazy life and um. Stay still, dangerous. Still, was it still brazy or? Still brazy, yeah. Still mm-hmm. brazy in my crazy life. Like after that, sh- bruh, yep. it, it, it got yeah, man. It, it got it, it's been shaky as fuck for YG. I mean, nobody crazy. checking for him. Man. Yeah, yeah. I that's, think it was because he was so heavy on that mustard sound, and then when mustard kind of fell off, because that because mustard's sound was sort of like YG's identity coming out. So, but it's, it's, it's a lot of dope West Coast producers out there, so I don't know how. I, he I don't know what it is. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. He just That's ain't been crazy. able to capitalize. I don't know. I mean, it happens. Like you know, everybody got their little, got their run. Some run last longer than others. Yeah, you know. that's true. That's true. That is All right. true. We can go ahead. We we back. <clears throat> All right. What up, though? You are now listening to another episode of Dead End Gaming, episode one ninety one. I am one half of your host, BZ four thirty. Me and me and me and Granddad holding it down tonight for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Tyler's busy taking care of some business. So she won't be here with us for tonight, but you know, she still love y'all. She still give her her curls and kisses and all that little other great things. Um, but yes, like I said, I'm one half the host, BC430. With me, I got the homie, the MC extraordinaire, Granddad Willie. Granddaughter, thousand hours, album of the century for now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. For now. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm going to stop talking. What's good, y'all? How y'all doing? Right. How we living? How we living? Man, he he he's dropping some nuggets. That you know, you know, y'all better be on the lookout for this album. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, it's coming. It's coming very soon than y'all think. I'm just gonna tell y'all that right now. It's coming very, very, very soon. So, yes, man, I can't. I'm looking forward to that. Got bloodbath in the building up, up in the chat, man. Shout out to bloodbath. You know what I'm saying? What up, Kev? The, what up, Kev? Old, old, old long time uh, dead end gaming fans. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to. Bloodbath, uh, I'm glad he's up in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's still it's still fam. Bloodbath still fam all day, every day. Mm-hmm. Um, but yes, uh, like I said, episode 191. It's our podcast week, so you are getting us talking about games and all that other wonderful things. This week, I got a I got a nice one. Got to go mm. um, for you, Granddad. You know all what right. I'm saying? For you. I might I might I might throw in two. This is just me and you. I might I might throw in two. One got to go. I'm for with you, it uh, tonight. You know what I'm saying? But um. Yes, this show is separated in three parts. First part, we talk about the games we play. Second part, we do news and topics, which is, you know, not super heavy, but it should be pretty. It's some good topics, some pretty interesting stuff we're going to talk about today. And then the third, we do our one got to go in live questions. If you want to pop in the question, the pod question queue, you can. You don't have to have a camera, but you have to have some, at least some audio. Got to have some audio. You got to be able to talk to you. Right. We got to be able to got to be able to hear your question, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or or, or sis. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, Granddad, what you been playing? Oh, man. So, been playing Apex Heavy. Uh, the new season dropped. Been uh, playing, uh, trying out Ballistic. I dig them. It's cool. I like them. Uh, but I got uh, a really dope uh, win with Ash uh, the other day. I actually posted one of the clip, a clip earlier, like, of, like what happened before I actually got the dub. But no, I've been playing Apex, um, you know, lately, getting back into the swing of that. Uh, mm-hmm. Played a little bit of... Uh, um, Mario Kart, my kid, you know, play with, you know, we, 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 we run that some once in a while. Uh, also went back to the Street Fighter six demo because, uh, you know, the next, the next iteration of building up to the game is coming up soon. So play a little bit more of the demo, have a little bit more fun with that. And then uh, of course, you know, the, the, the new hotness that just dropped, you know, a little bit of that Zelda tears of the kingdom. That's what, you know, I, I cracked that one open and, uh, got a little bit of uh, time in with that, but that's pretty much it. Uh, what you got, B? What you got over there? All right, so you know what game I'm I, I'm diving back in that I'm like, okay, yeah, this this shit is definitely fun, um, and I'm glad it took this long for him to get it right. It's Cyberpunk 20, 2077. Mm. Um, finally diving back into that joint. I am a ninja blade toting. I'm pretty I'm pretty much ninja gating on this motherfucker. I, I I love it. I love it. I was like, man, you know what? I ain't gonna be using guns this time. I got my katana, my knives. I'm out here throwing knives, critical hitting everybody. I mean, the sword game is on point. So I've been, I've been doing, I've been playing that. Um, of course, I've been playing Destiny with my Destiny crew, uh, doing raids and stuff, man. Like, like we at the point now where we have a good group of people to like. Okay, we just go in. We're gonna do raids. We're gonna farm for stuff. 
and just and just the raids are fun. Like if you if you play Destiny and you've never experienced a raid in Destiny doing a raid, you are missing out. Like that is the that is the top of the thing to do in Destiny is these damn raids, man, because they're so much fun, so much communication and teamwork and involved is is dope. Um, yes, yes, you know what I'm saying, CC, J no, J no. Um, so I've been playing some Cyberpunk, playing some Destiny, been playing some Jedi Survivor. Uh, man, yeah, love it, loving it, loving it so far. But I haven't really got a chance to dive in Jedi Survivor that much. I probably, I'm probably like three, two and a half, three hours in on Jedi Survivor. And the only reason why, oh yeah, of course, in last week for y'all for the gaming week, we played the Ascend, me, Tyler, and uh, Granddad. Which oh yeah, is yeah, crazy as hell. But it was kind of frustrating because the game kept shutting up and we had to keep you know reloading it back in reloading it back in but other than that the game seemed fun <clears throat> once i got used to the aiming but yeah. um yeah it kind of you know it kind of and i played some uh diablo 4 beta the diablo 4 beta was this past weekend um so i played that i think that was like the last beta for the actual uh release of the game which is coming june 1st if you pre-ordered the deluxe and june 5th if you just got the standard so i did the, i did the uh deluxe because i want to be able to play it for that entire weekend so, but yes, like I was saying, the reason why I haven't had a chance to really dive, really dive deep into Jedi Survivor is because Zelda Ting Tears of the Kingdom, I mean, bruh, let me tell you something. Choke hold. I, I have not played a, let me say this, because the game just came out this past weekend, right? Yeah. I have not played, I literally played this game. That Friday and Saturday, I literally played this game like all night. Like I, like I was, I was texting my other homie who plays this game too. He's a big Zelda fan. I was like, bro, this game got me gaming. Like I'm in my early twenties, bro. Like what is going on here? I said my whole sleeping pattern. Luckily, I got it back on track. But my whole sleeping pattern this past weekend all fucked up. All <laughs> fucked up because, bro, I'm up here playing the game. I think that from that Friday going into Saturday morning, I played the game literally to like about. 5 30 in the morning went to bed God to damn, bro. i'm telling you went to sleep woke up at like about 12 30 1 o'clock 12 30 got went no went to the grocery store came back got and i played it from like three o'clock to like 11 30. god bro. damn bro bro it, it was it was insane <laughs> it was it was insane i was like okay i gotta get up and go to the studio so let me you know let me i can't i can't be on this motherfucker all night all night so went up, went to the studio, came back from the studio, got right back on the game and played it to like about maybe 11, 30, 12 at midnight. I was like, bro, I got to get up and go to work. Let me, I got, let me stop. But I will say this, my dumb ass, I forgot that I can take my Switch with me because, you know, I'm so used yeah. to just playing, you know, I'm so used to playing with the, with the Nintendo Pro Controller. So like, I, I forget that I can take it off the dock and take it to work with me. So of course, on my downtime at work, what am I doing? I'm fucking this playing man, <laughs> this man. Bruh, I'm telling you. <laughs> Somebody stop this man. This, the game ain't been out for a whole week, bro. This man is like, taking over your life that fast. Oh, let me tell you, because you already know, y'all already know how much I was praising Breath of the Wild. Like, I was like, man, this game is like, this game is like it. This is like damn near, this is damn near a perfect game, right? Like, I was saying that. So, you know, leading up to with Tears of Kingdoms, I'm like, okay, well, what can they do? Like, what are they going to do? What can they do? Bro, they did it. Like this is a this is what an open world game is, bro. Like I'm talking about no limits. You can do freaking anything in this damn game. I love this game, bro. I've been playing the fuck out of this game. I'm almost willing to say, and this is a hot take. This is hot take. I'm willing to say this is probably top five video, best video favorite video game of all time for me, bro. Like damn, bro. of all time. Of all time, you ain't even like, finished seriously. it though. You just you ain't even finished the game. I right, I'm, I'm I'm probably putting. Oh fuck, we got the fifth pick. Ain't that a bitch? I'm sorry. <laughs> I was looking at the... yeah, fucked up I your whole win I know he wasn't gonna win it though. I know he wasn't gonna win the lottery. Um, but yeah, bro, like this game got me. This game got me in a chokehold, bro. I, I absolutely love this game. When I'm not, it, it's 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 been a minute since I've. It's been a minute since, like, when I'm not playing a game that I'm thinking about the shit. I'm like, oh, bro, when I get back, I'm a such and such, do this, do that, do that. Like, yeah, like this game got me in a chokehold, bro. This game definitely got me in a chokehold. But like I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I'm at least I'm trying, I'm trying not to 
Zelda myself to death. That's why I'm like trying to play, you know, Jedi Survivor and Cyberpunk and nah, all that bro, stuff. It ain't gonna happen, bro. It's already got you. It's already bro, this got game, you. This game got me, man. Like, I, yeah, like this game is. I can see why, you know. Of course, you know, reviewers. Yeah, everybody gonna say yes, yeah, this, 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 that, or whatever. And so you know, I'm like, let me play it for myself and just play it. But I'm like, bro, no, this this game is it. This game is it. I mean, I, I even if you're not a Zelda fan. I feel like if you just a if you just a gamer and not really like up on Zelda like that or don't even play that's it, me right here. Play this fucking game. Like you, ha- if you like open world games or if you love open world games and you haven't played Zelda, this or Breath of the Wild. But I'm gonna say this: play this game because Breath of the Wild is so damn good. I feel like this game is beating that game by a mile, and it's like that's crazy to say that because Breath of the Wild was nuts. But yeah, man. I mean, that's that's what I've been playing. That's what had me in the chokehold this past week since we've since our gaming week. Cyberpunk, this, Destiny 2, and Jedi Survivor has been the games that I've been playing, bro. It's, it's, it got me. It got me. Nah, man, I'm I feel you. you. I feel you. Like, and and, and further to touching me. on to that Zelda, like, as somebody, like, I've always said this. I mean, you go all the way back to the beginnings of this podcast. I've always said I'm not the biggest Zelda fan. But I give credit where credit is due. Breath of the Wild, that was the game I bought when the, when, I, when the Switch first came out. That was the first game, that was the launch game. And I loved it. I was like, I've never, I haven't loved a game from Zelda since probably Ocarina of Time. So from then to that, I was like, okay, they own to something. I've played this. I got it. I, I told you, I told you, like I had one of them Nintendo vouchers. I said, that's that's reserved for, for Tears of the Kingdom. Cracked it open. The moment that the game started, I was like, oh yeah. And then as I got deeper into it, I was like, yeah. I'm putting some hours into this joint and I've already, I've already got some time into it, but like, it's just, I just echo everything that you're saying B and this is coming from somebody who's not a big Zelda fan, but they just, they just got it right. Like uh, as an, if you're like, you say, if you are a fan of the open world game, this is like the creme de la creme, the top of the line. The, 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 ain't, ain't, it's going to be hard. This is, like I said, this might be in the top five as far as like, like the, these, this, this, these last two Zelda games. And I haven't played it enough. I haven't played it to really get my full thoughts on it, but just from initial response or initial, you know, feedback, I'm already seeing myself getting even more immersed in this one than the last one. I just, I just feel it. And that's off just the, couple hours i've been playing this game and it's the world is so massive and expansive and there's so much that you can do it's, <coughs> excuse me it's like you just want to actually just go around the world and just kind of explore like you want to do the missions too but it's also like i want to go around and just kind of explore and just like collect stuff and craft stuff and cook Bruh. stuff and just like do you know what i'm saying just random shit like like yeah yeah i i should go 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 meet up with you know zelda i should go you know go to this shrine i should do that but no i'm, I'm gonna go cook these mushrooms real quick and catch a couple frogs and all this other stuff like, and just just have just immerse myself in that world so nintendo they about to sell a gang of switches they've already sent a gang but this is this they, they about to they about to go on a they they final massive run before like the next Nintendo system that ever gets unveiled, mm-hmm. Zelda's gonna be selling a lot of these switches, a lot of them, because this game. If you ain't got a switch already, this game is definitely the reason you should have one. If you ain't already have one, like if there's no there's no reason. Like there's they have two. This system alone has the two best, arguably two of the best Zelda games ever created, like ever, ever, ever. Ever like, like come on, like come seriously, on. like ever, like it, it's insane. This shit is so yeah. freaking insane. Shout yeah. out to Ray Yarrahim with the sub, man. Appreciate, appreciate that. Thirty four months, thirty four months. This man bro. ain't That's moving. This man said, "I'm this, not moving out." This man said he is not moving. But, I feel you, bro. I feel you. Nah, man. So I'm I'm highly impressed because I I, I said the same thing. Like, how was Nintendo gonna top Breath of the Wild? And they was like, "Nigga, step aside. Let me show you." And they did, bro. Like so far, they did, and just just from the opening of it, um, just you know, I, and I don't want to spoil anything, but just from the opening of the game, you know, just you know how everything builds up, and then how you end up into the the world, it just like it feels familiar. It gives it, it feels familiar to Breath of the Wild, but it just feels like they've upped the ante out the gate, and it's just. Yeah, man. Like, and and the reviews have, have spoken. Like, people like when it first came out, it was given the highest reviews 
ever. I mean, and uh, as time went on, of course, people are going to give their reviews and, and lower the score. But initially, out the gate, it was what, the highest rated game of all time, out the gate. And sales, I know, going to go crazy. You know, people was leaking the game a month before, like the GameStop employee, you know, who leaked it and got fired. Because, like, that, that's how much hype for this game was, was built from the initial, you know, unveiling of it and with the pushback and delays. But look, when Nintendo, especially with their first party titles, when they know they got to put their best foot forward, say what you want, they show up. Bruh. They show up and they Bruh, show up every big. Time. Every time. So, like, at this point, after I finish the Zelda game, and if it's as good as I know it's going to be, when the next system comes out, and it's time again to make another Zelda game, what else can they do? Like, only thing, like, yeah, only thing they can do now is give us a true high-definition HD Zelda. Now, that's the only thing. Like, now, at this point, give us this the same gameplay, the same depth, the great story, but now let's just get that bump up in resolution. Let's make this thing look pretty, pretty, pretty. That's the next thing that they can do. Other than that, gameplay wise, they they got it. They got it locked down. They got it, bro. They they got this shit. I'm I, I'm I even said it in my Discord. I like this is game of the year, and I know it's May. I don't even give a fuck. It's game. It's game of the year. It's it's nothing Ain't is nothing. going to top this game. Nope. Nothing unless 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 nothing, bro. I, no, unless Spider Man Two drop, if Spider Man Two comes out, I don't out, even know about Spider Man, if, bro. If, I don't even I mean, know Spider Man. You, you, you know what? You're right. You're right. You're Spider Man right. might want to sit. Is, Spider Man might want to sit this one out, bro. Might want to wait until 2024, said, bro. Because yeah, no, this game of the year, bro. This game of the year. This game of the year. Like I said, yeah, I was thinking of Spider Man, but mm, yeah, Spider Man wanted to come out in 2024, bro. This is game of the year. Nothing is touching this. Nothing mm-hmm. is touching this game, bro. Spider Man. Look, I love some Spider Man games, but I'm telling you right now, as like I said, I don't. I'm. I'm. You ain't gonna catch me with a, with a Zelda poster in my room. But I give, gotta give credit where credit is due. They put their foot, they knee, they hip, and the elbow in this motherfucker. Not the elbow. And the elbow. Elbow deep in this bitch. That's how good it is. Damn. Damn. Look, hey. Kudos to Nintendo. You you you're still doing what you need to do when you need to do it. Like Nintendo, say what you want. They've been on. They, they've been. They've been doing good this year. They got the biggest selling movie from Mario. Yep. Now they got Zelda dropping with all the crazy hype. Like they ain't missing. These motherfuckers cannot miss in twenty twenty three right now. I don't know what else they got. They got you know like look. They, they dropped Splatoon three. Great game. Like they've been. They've been hitting, hitting, bro. So what else is next? What else is next? What else you got, Nintendo? I'm here for it. He's like, what else you got, Nintendo? I'm you here for it. whatever, right, whatever, yeah. whatever Nintendo got you here for it, right? You know, and all, another thing I'm here for is 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 deals going through. I'm here for when deals that was previously blocked ain't go blocked through. and they go the, through because you say you say you entitled test on this, right? We did, and we got an update, y'all. You remember Microsoft Activision? You know, Microsoft was down bad. <laughs> they was having a bad year, bad. You know, Redfall was fat flopping. And then they was getting their deals blocked out in Europe for the Activision merger. Well, they got mm-hmm. a little bit of good news this week. Finally, the deal is done. They got approved, y'all. They got approved for the merger out in the UK. The UK is like, all right, you can do it. You can do it. And, you know, but you got to provide some freebie. So, basically, the European Union has allowed Microsoft to go ahead and move forward with the Activision Blizzard acquisition as long as Microsoft addresses the cloud gaming concerns. So basically, they're saying, hey, you can do this, but you got to just, you know, you got to let us know that the cloud gaming shit, you got that shit, you know, it's going to be fair. It's going to be on point. We got to worry about no problems with the consumers and all the other stuff. And, you know, and you can, and people can be able to still stream these games on these other cloud servers. So basically, they're like, look, as long as you don't like try to monopolize the shit, we good. And remind you, this is a $68 billion acquisition. So they was losing out on $68 billion that they now can fully continue to move forward and get this acquisition done so we can get games like Diablo, World of Warcraft, Call of Duty, Mm -hmm. Candy Crush, all these big games that were blocked in the United Kingdom. So mind you, people in the UK could not play these games. They couldn't play their Call of Duty. They couldn't play Candy Crush. They couldn't play World of Warcraft, Diablo. These are big games. Now they can, which is going to bring all that beautiful money all that beautiful European UK money into the deal, and and, and Microsoft will be be able to 
do something that they can that they've been trying to do for years. Now the question is now how does Microsoft capitalize off this? Now they got yeah. to deal through. Yep. They need to find a way to take this momentum and this good news and roll mm-hmm. it over into okay. Now they got this deal done. They need to start focusing on now putting out some great games. They got these games. They got these IPs that are obviously big sellers, but Microsoft, <coughs> excuse me, still needs to do more. They still need to get themselves in a position where people are looking forward to what they are exclusively dropping because they haven't been doing too well, um, especially this year. So everybody's still hoping Starfield, when that comes out, is mm-hmm. going to be a great game. And then, of course, uh, I think Forza is coming out with another game. So, but I think Microsoft, you know, after this deal is done and now they're finally, you know, able to move forward with this, they can probably start trying to turn the tide and really just get things on the up and up because, you know, Game Pass is great. I told y'all, Game Pass is great. I had it for three years strong. My renewal is due. But lately, I ain't see I ain't seeing nothing that Game Pass is really doing. So like I don't know if I'm gonna give them the yeah, whole time. I think I think Atomic Heart, which that's another game I need to finish. <clears throat> yeah. Uh Atomic Heart is the uh that's like the last like game that I've enjoyed on um on Game Pass. I mean in Jedi Fallen Order, I played that on I played the first one on Game Pass. Mm-hmm. But um but yeah, yeah, Atomic Heart was like the last game Same. that I'm like, because you know what? I was going to play Redfall, but bruh, man, like everybody and their damn mama said this game is a hot ass mess. So yeah, yeah I, I think I might stay away from that game. I ain't going to touch that game with a 20 foot pole. Yeah, they just need to, I don't know what they need to do, but they just need to start focusing on like really like Xbox needs to really start now focusing on you got the deals done. You're getting all these big studios. Start cranking out some games. Start cranking out some games that people are actually enjoying and want to play mm-hmm. and, and want to share. You got the infrastructure set up. You got Game Pass. You got everything you need. You just, but at the end, at, at the core of it, if your games ain't good, nobody's going to really care. Nobody's going to care. Yeah. That's, like imagine, that's what... like just imagine if Nintendo or Sony had a Game Pass and it was doing day one. Imagine, imagine Zelda Game Pass day one. Imagine God yeah, of War. Or, or God of War, yeah. Game Pass. Day one. Day on, one. On, you know. on PlayStation Extra or something like that. PlayStation Plus. Ex- right. Game Pass. That'd be crazy. It'd be over. The subscriptions would be through the roof. So Microsoft has this, you know, has this service that honestly is what's selling their systems the most, for the most part. I would think everybody, you know, if you got Xbox, you got Game Pass for the most part. Because you ain't buying it for, you know, one specific game or whatever it is. So mm-hmm. they need to capitalize on this. They got their deal. They got their $68 billion uh, dollar deal uh, going through. Let's make some games. I want, I'll want. i give them the rest of the year to get things cleaned up. But 2024, I want to see a strong 2024 from Microsoft as far as exclusives and putting out great games. I think I, I'll, give them that, I'll give them the rest of this year to get things together. But 2024, we need to see something, something heavy. From uh, Microsoft. What happened? Yo, what happened? I thought they were supposed to be dropping that Soul Blade joint. The um, not the Soul. The um, what's the game? With it's like a spooky game, and the girl she be listening to them voices in her head. Oh, uh, uh, uh what's Hellblade. That? Hellblade. Hellblade. I said Soul Blade. I don't know where the <laughs> yeah. fuck. Yeah. Cinema, uh, uh, yeah. was, uh, Cinema was something, but it's, I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. I don't know what the like, fuck happened. Remember, remember, we saw like a. I remember we saw like a long trailer for it and stuff, and it was just like. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh man, it's coming. We thought it was coming soon. You know what I'm saying? Nope. I don't know where the nope. hell Hellblade Nothing. Two at, but I can yeah, use that. Bruh. They could definitely use that shit. Hellblade yeah, they Two, bro, because that first one was the shit, bro. I love I, that first I, Hellblade I, game. I had, that, that first sh- one was fun as fuck. That shit <laughs> had me had me shook, bro, for the first little bit of time, bro. Bro, look, that, look. nah, bro, like not nah, shook, and it's like it, it was wild, bro. Like when I first played that game, that shit had my head all fucked up, bro. Because I got man. I ain't never had a game like that. You watch the streams, y'all. But guess what? I'm a real nigga. I got my shit together. And next thing you know, I was a Mac. I was an immaculate warrior, cutting up motherfuckers left and right, bro. I was on point. That shit was fucking fun, bro. I might run that yeah, shit it back. Was. I might it run was that shit fun. back, bro. But yeah, I can't wait till that shit come back. But like, they haven't said nothing about it, so I don't know what's going on. I wouldn't mind also another Killer Instinct game. It's overdue for that since we got all the fighting games coming out. Come on mm-hmm. now, bro. crank out another one of those. Um. Hey, there's a market for it. Y'all buddy buddy with Nintendo. I still say it. Banjo Kazooie. Give me a new one. Let's do it. What you waiting for? You got the money. You got the power chips. Stop fucking around. Come on. Like N- Nintendo, look, 
Look, y'all want to run right now. I want to see PlayStation has been on a run. They had their run as well. It's time for Microsoft to have their run. Let them get their run. So they got to just go out and do what they got to do. You was mentioning uh, fighting games. Did you want to speak on the uh, the Mortal Kombat with uh, Ed? With Ed, um, with oh, Ed yeah. posted? Yeah. yeah. So well, so here's the thing, y'all. So you know I love me my fighting games. <laughs> I love me my fighting games. <laughs> so these niggas over at NetherRealm, these motherfuckers over at Mortal Kombat up here posting teasers and shit. I'm going to play it real quick if you ain't seen it. So this is a clock, y'all. I'm going to play the, the video. So as you can see, the clock is striking. All right? It hits. And now, the last game was Mortal Kombat 11, right? So when it hits 11, watch what happens. All right? It goes from 11, boom. It skips 12 and goes to 1. So... Okay, so this this is my theory, I guess. What I you guess got? I got I got I got two theories. I got two theories, but I'm gonna hear what you say. Go ahead. I think you might agree with me with one. I think you might agree with me with this one. So mm. like so you remember when when we played the story in Mortal Kombat Eleven, right? Um what's the chick name? The main boss, the time the time Chronica. The time chick. Chronica. Chronica. Yes. So like I think what she did as far as with time, I think I think she like jacked everything up, which is why I think we're gonna go back to Mortal Kombat 1. Like, I don't know. I think I think whatever she did and the time change and all that stuff and Liu Kang becoming the elder, like all that stuff, like I think it messed up the time. So I feel like that's why we're going to go back to Mortal Kombat 1. I think we're going to, I think that story, we might get like a story told a different way. Because like, you got to think, when Mortal Kombat 1 came out, we didn't have like no story like we've been playing since like Mortal Kombat 9. I think that's when they started adding the story line to it, to the game. So like, you know, we've been playing the story stuff since Mortal Kombat 9. And, you know, we didn't play it in the early Mortal Kombat game. So maybe with them kind of re rebranding it and re relaunching this whole Mortal Kombat from the first one, that'd be dope if we have only what, the eight characters, the eight, seven, eight people that we fight with Raiden Kano like that would be dope as fuck if they they ain't gonna do that they ain't gonna do that you don't think so they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna do they ain't gonna give you eight characters ain't, ain't not these days bro you know how many people gonna get fucking shit you know about what, that? you're right you, you know you're right but now, if it's called but if it's called Mortal Kombat it might be looked at as like a remake kind of so, like and we and we might play like you might you might do some shit where you can play as reptile or I don't know man that's what I think I think I think what she did with the time is just messed everything up and now we about to have a, a story told differently from the beginning that's so I partially agree with you to a certain extent. So I think, well, I got two theories actually, because one's okay. based off something that Ed said, but Ed Boone yeah. said, but it might be a troll. But I'm gonna go back to my original one first. So okay. I agree with you that this is going to be, this could possibly be a full reboot. Now, if you remember at the end of the uh, DLC story, the aftermath story, the aftermath, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, when you become Fire God Liu Kang and you beat yep. Shang Tsung, spoilers if you ain't played this, I'm sorry, but it's been too long. Right. But um, right. But at the end of it, Liu Kang, well, Fire God Liu Kang meets with the, he goes back in time and he meets with the great Kung Lao, the OG Kung Lao, not the one that we know, the first Kung Lao. Mm -hmm. And he's telling him, hey, look, we got some work to do and basically to get ready for the tournament. So basically the timeline fully resets to the first Kung Lao and the first Kung Lao is going to be the main character with Liu Kang being sort of like the Raiden character. So if we get a reset, we're going to get Mortal Kombat 1, but even before our Mortal Kombat 1. This is like the first Mortal Kombat tournament, like the very okay. first one. So okay. that's okay. a possibility. And honestly, we'll still get those same probably characters or versions of those characters. Um, all of them, though? Not, not, like, all, not all of yeah. them. No, not all yeah. of them. Because, like I said, some of these some of these characters are before that timeline. So, or who knows? Because the timeline is different, they may show up. Or I don't know how they would do that. So that's my first theory. The second theory comes with, from the fact that Ed Boon, even though he posted this, they hashtag Mortal Kombat. He said this on his Twitter. He's like, "We never said that the next game was a Mortal Kombat game." So he said, mm. now Ed Boone knows, to, knows how to troll and he probably, but, but if that's the case, I'm going to, I'm looking at this video and I actually posted this on Twitter. I said, well, he's saying Mortal Kombat because we're all expecting, and we heard the leaks that Mortal Kombat 12 is the next game. So in the video, the last game was Mortal Kombat 11 and it skips 12. So basically another theory is he said, we're skipping Mortal Kombat 12 for now. And we're giving you part one 
of a completely different game, a brand new game. Not Injustice, not Mortal Kombat yet. We'll start, We'll still get Mortal Kombat 12. But Macy's like, now nah, we're skipping over that. We're going to give you part one. And I'm thinking, if he not trolling, this may be part one of our Marvel NetherRealm game. Maybe. Because... Part one of... Wait, wait, uh, uh, what? Yeah, because it's been rumors that Marvel and NetherRealm are going to make a game, a fighting game or some kind of game. And... I'm gonna pull up the tweet too, just so you can Mar see. So, Mar so damn. So it went from Marvel to Capcom. And now we might have Bar Marvel versus. Well, no, because he, he's always wanted to do that. But let me see if I can find the uh, tweet he did. If it's still here, here it is. So now here, I look. I look too deep into things. But this is the tweet he said. He said, um, for the record, we never confirmed our next game is a Mortal Kombat game. And then the gift that he posted is. A laughing emoji of J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, I think that's too deep. Uh, yeah, Who not? Just, but, bro, think, he, but but Ed Boom be doing stuff like that though. So I, I think I think that's just a I think it that's may be, but why would he use out of all the laughing emojis, why would he use Jameson when he knows they and he's on the record said, I want to make a Marvel game. He says he's always wanted to make oh, a Ed, Marvel game. Ed Boom said that? Yes. So who's to say okay. that we okay. don't get some okay. kind of Marvel game from Nether Realm first? And that then we get Mortal something. Kombat after. Okay. That could be something. I, that, that could be, be that could be a possibility. Now that's a stretch. We could just get Mortal Kombat 12. But if we don't, I see that being the, the next thing as a surprise. Because I just feel like the thing with Netherrealm, they like to surprise people with things. They like to like make things a big surprise. And the fact that they just let this news out in a conference call, what Warner Brothers did, I feel like. They had to be somewhat in the loop. So they said, yeah, we're going to give you Mortal Kombat 12, but we're not going to tell you everything we're doing. So I think there's going to be a surprise from NetherRealm before we get Mortal Kombat 12, or maybe after. But I don't know. That's just me reaching. But I, 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 would, I would like that. I would like that if they did that. Because I've always said I want something brand new from NetherRealm. I love Mortal Kombat. I love Injustice. But I want something brand new as well. I want NetherRealm not to be just a two-game studio. So... They got they got the reach to be able to do more. So I hopefully this is the sign of that. I don't know, maybe. But uh what is this? another sign of greatness in fighting games is Street Fighter 6, which I I can't wait. It's coming out is June 2nd. The June open, 2nd. But before then, we they got the open beta. The open beta is hitting the streets on May 19th. So get yourself That's this ready. Friday. That's this, this Friday. This Friday. And today, whenever this once this podcast goes up, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that, yo, it's gonna be hot. The street, the the the, 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 the the online gonna be hot, boy. Everybody gonna be playing this game. I'm telling you. Now, I've been playing the demo, and even though now the thing about the demo is like it's very limited because you can only play with Ryu and Luke, and you can only do a little bit of the uh the open world uh aspect of it too. But in the beta, they're gonna open it up a little bit more. You're gonna be able to play with eight characters. So you can play with, I believe, uh, Ryu and Luke, Chun-Li, Guile, Kimberly, who's a new character, Jury, and Ken. And then you're going to have some more playable stages. So Metro City uh, Downtown, the Gimbu Temple, Carrier Byron Taylor, Tian Hong Guan, the Macho Ring, and the Training Room. Um, you're going to be able to you know, also create your avatars. It's going to be the Battle Hub. This feature is going to be playable. Um, they're going to just open up more for people to do. It's going to be available on Xbox, PlayStation, and Steam. Now, if you want to get in on this, you got to follow the rules. So you got to make sure you're registered. So you got to go on the website. Uh, it's going to be open beta on the 19th and through the 21st. Uh, the times are posted. They're in like uh, military specific standard time. I can't think off the top of my head. You convert the shit yourself, but it's going to be open. And you just have to have a Capcom ID. If you don't have a Capcom ID, you just got to make one on their website. And then you link whatever system you're playing on. And then if you're good, you'll be able to play the beta and, you know, throw some hands. And I think they're going to be doing tournaments as well, which is cool. You know, I'm, you know, I'm all about my tournaments. So um, they're going to hold some periodic tournaments as well. So make sure you look out for that. Challenges, all kinds of dope stuff. But um, I just got to say, I'm really, really pleased and excited and happy with the entire rollout of this game. I've always said, like, they're making up for Street Fighter V in a big way. 
Because Street Fighter V's rollout was so piss poor and rushed. They did they was that piss poor, huh? They yes, they did a complete, complete 180 with this game in the best way possible. Like they announced this game way in advance, gave us a little bit and kept us updated periodically, like with little bits of info here, there, character reveals, uh, just the gameplay mechanics, all these different things that they're adding and these new things they're adding, building up until this release date. And it just continually kept building up the hype. The demo was great. It was a, it was a great little taste of it. This beta, I know it's going to go crazy. This, this, the servers might shut down because I know a lot of people will be trying to get into this beta. And I already know, like I've already pre-ordered the game because I'm putting it in, I'm putting it in work on this one. Street Fighter VI tournament scene, going to go crazy. Regular online, going to go crazy. People have been wanting the next installment. And I think we're going to get everything we want and more out of this game. I just... I mean, I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier. This is going to be a great year for fighting games. Hmm. Someone, someone, yeah. And then, yeah, like you mentioned about <clears> Tekken, is, is, you think Tekken going, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tekken's right around the corner, too. After that, we get Tekken. And then, if we do get this Mortal Kombat game, that's right at the end it of the year. It probably be this fall. It probably be at the fall. We fall the get, winner. We get back get fall to winter. back to back bangers, bro. From the th- we getting the, the big three is dropping all the same year, bro. When they do yeah. that at? But you know what, though? What? I know one thing. What? None, none of these fighting games going to be game of the year because Zelda got that shit on lock. Hey, bro. On lock. On bro. lock and key. I'm going to tell you right now. No fighting game in its entire life will ever be game of the year. Yeah. It's too why, niche. Why, why you think that? It's yeah. too oh, niche. It's too niche? It's too really? niche. I guess it's the same way as like an NBA game or Madden game will never win game yeah. of the year because it's... T- I, I, I get it. I see what you're saying. That's why it. they have their own category. That's, point. That's why they have their That's- own category. But they'll never... in the, they will. It will it will be a cold day in hell before a fighting game wins game of the year, you know. But would you? Would, so <clears throat> I know as much as y'all love this game, would you? Would y'all? Would you would have said the uh, Mario Smash Brothers would have been kind of like game of the year? Because uh, man, people was going fucking nuts over that shit, bro. See, Smash is such a. I still wouldn't give it that because it's still very niche. But uh-huh. Smash is so good, and it does such a good job of bringing so many different people who never like it, it can bring a casual and a hardcore fighting fan game fan. But it's also mm-hmm. not your traditional fighting game; it's a platform fighter. But also, it brings in so many different characters and hype. It's its own beast. And personally, to me, I would put it. I would. I think the only game that would be able to at least be categorized in Game of the Year. Because mm-hmm. it also has a story and all this other stuff too, and a lot of other stuff about it would be Smash. But even still in that category, it would still lose out. But that's the only game I think would be able to at least go in that category and be nominated for Game of the Year. But it still wouldn't win compared to because when people think of Game of the Year, they think of big open world action RPG, great story, compelling dialogue, visual, all, all these things that go into it. And a fighting game is does it fun to play? And what characters are in there? And yeah, it looks good visually, but you that you block that out after a while. A fighting game, as you play in fighting games, the the visual aspect of it wears off very fast because you didn't lock into the actual gameplay mechanics because that's what you're focused on more so than anything. So um, you're only in awe of its visuals with the first week, you know, and then after that, it's like, all right, is it fun to play? Do I want to do these runbacks? Do I want to play online and rank up and and get good and go to tournaments and all that other stuff? So that's that's why fighting games are never gonna reach that level as far as oh this is gonna be the game of the year. Damn. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm just asking. I just remember when when Witch McCullough came out, it was just man, people was losing their mind over over. I mean, it was so I guess because it felt like it was long overdue. So yeah, I I thought that could have definitely been on someone's list for game of the year, but because I don't think it's it don't seem like it's, it's as niche as a Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, a Tekken type of game. So that's it, why it's I because it's uh, because it's got so many different characters from so many different franchises, and it's just easier. It's easily accessible for like I said, somebody to just pick it up and play, and not because like there's two levels of Smash. You got the casual level where people can just pick it up and button mash and play, and it's just still, it's still a fun time. It's a party game. And then you have the competitive side of it, where there's techniques and there's skill sets that you have to really master to really get that out of it. So there's two sides to it. 
other fighting games is you got to either be good or you're not. Like you play it casually too, but it's like it's a lot more. It's a lot know, more. It's mm-hmm. a lot more intense. Like Tekken gets real. Street Fighter gets real. You know, Mortal Kombat that stuff gets real. Smash gets real too, but it's like you know, you can still see people like throwing it on at a kid's party and having fun with it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna yeah. be at a kid's party throwing on you know Tekken. And like you know, doing it, trying to play seriously. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is, to me. All right, cool. I, I was just, I was just asking. I was just curious what, what yeah, people. But I still, that you, one like you know, me. I still love my fighting games. Still, I die. You know, all day, every day. They gonna get my money. He said they gonna get my money. All right. So you want to go to break, and we come back and do the one gotta go and question. If you want to ask a question live, be sure to pop up in the. Uh, Pod question queue in Discord if you want to. If not, we can ask it. Yes, yes. All right, y'all. So we're going to take this other ad break. And then in 60, we'll see y'all for the one got to go and the questions. So uh, if 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 you're still with the controller, you don't chill with us. But if not, go watch some uh, Street Fighter VI uh, gameplay. Why not? You know, get get yourself ready. We'll see you in a minute. (laughs) It's the beta that's dropping literally this weekend. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. The streets gonna be hot this summer. Man, there's man, so many games. games out, bro. Yeah. This this is a good year, man. I was I was texting my other homie. I'm like, yo, this is a good year of gaming. Like, yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot of different variety. It's a lot of different games it's I'm playing so this year. Yeah. It's like a lot of different games I'm playing. It's like I'm not stuck with like the same two or three I've been playing. Like, it's like I'm playing a lot of different shit. Like, I gotta try to find time to play, you know, other little games and shit. Like, oh shit, I gotta play this, I gotta play this. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I, got, I still got to finish um, Atomic Heart, which is actually a pretty damn good game. Atomic Heart is a good game. No, I don't. Um, yeah, I had fun with yeah, it. Yeah, it's definitely a dope game. Like I said, if you like Bioshock Infinite type stuff, yeah, this is definitely a, a game for you. Mm, that that should have been an M one. Yeah, this is definitely a game for you right here. So, yeah, I, I'm, man, it's, it's, I'm excited. Yeah, man. Like yeah. I said, I still got games in the, in the back catalog to... to... To take care of like but you know what like i said i'm gonna get to them but yeah like i said and we can still got more more coming too so I, I i love it though i love a good variety in gaming throughout the year i love being able to yeah get you know yeah, man. so so yeah let's keep it up i'm I, with it I, I do too i mess with it we back we back all right <clears throat> so one gotta go what you got I came over so this one says, you know, in 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 preparation for me and FIFO doing a, our first all R and B uh Friday. This is a uh, this uh, this four out this these four artists I'm gonna name you are R and B women women artists R and B women artists. And I'm pretty sure people in the chat probably are familiar with these artists. I'm getting ready to name. So one gotta go means it means their music and everything. Her right. is one. SZA, Ari Lennox, Summer Walker. One got to go. Man, I don't be listening. To... You don't be listening? You don't be listening? No, to no, no, like so, so, no, no, no. Like, okay, so I'm going to go off because I'm not going to pretend like I sit here and I've, like, listened to their catalogs. I've heard all their music. I, 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 I'm going I, I, to say it again for the people that's, that's, um, say so, it again for the people that, you know, they don't, that they didn't, that they missed it. Her? SZA, Summer Walker, Ari Lennox. So I'm going to say this. I'm picking Summer Walker because, like, I know voice-wise, I love her voice. Ari can sing her ass off. Um, like, like you know, and she got some she got some joints, too. Summer Walker is just like, eh. And it's like, people love, man. No, people no, love, they do. People to, but to love me, Summer Walker, But bro. to me, to me, because the songs I've heard, like, she's got some, some decent songs, but it's like, I have look, Bloodbath said her yeah. is gone. See, her? he said her I, is gone. I, I'll stick with her, and, and also I, just, I like. Well, she does, she shows her face, but I like how she kind of had like the little mysterious thing going on for a little bit too. Mm-hmm. That was kind of cool. Like she's more like, all right, fuck it, at this point. But um, yeah, I, I'll still have, I'll still go Summer Walker. That, that's my pick. That's okay, my pick. all right, all right. So we're gonna do we're gonna do R we're gonna do man, man the other one. We're gonna do a, a male R and B. All right, all right. So got the weekend. Frank Ocean, Usher, Chris Brown. One got to go. Mm, this one's a little more tough. Frank Ocean, The Weeknd, Usher, 
Chris Brown. One got to go. Usher ain't going nowhere. The Usher ain't going uh, nowhere, but uh, who got to go? Nowhere. Frank who can gotta say. got to go? I might have to go weekend. So you're going weekend? I'm going to have to go with the weekend. Yeah. This fool bloodbath said I like weekdays anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Frank, sorry. Oh, King, King Osiris said Frank got to go. Wow. Between Frank and Chris from Beans. So Beans is not saying weekend is out of there. Wow, someone should have posted a poll up in there and just to see what folks were saying for both of them. Maybe Chris because the more problematic. What? Huh. I'm uh, uh, okay. yeah, I'm going off music though. I'm going strictly off music. Yeah, I was gonna say them yeah. that art this artist their music don't exist. Which one gotta go? You know what I'm saying? That's just it's the safest on this list. I would say that too, Bloodbath. That's my opinion. But you know, I don't know if it's a generational thing. But nah, yeah, yeah Usher I, I would, definitely. I would definitely say Usher is the safest one. Uh, Usher solidified. Usher, so. right. <laughs> Bloodbath said, if you say Usher, you're wrong. <laughs> right. Weekend. Okay, so I'm seeing the weekend. King Osiris, yep, is, is Usher. Like, I guess he mean like, yep, Usher is the safest, is the safest one. Okay. I got I, I was about to say, yep, it's oh uh, yeah, you you scared me for a second, King. You you kind of had me nervous for a minute. You had me nervous. Weekend was always my go to. Too toxic when my girl made me mad, bruh. Well, <laughs> hey, look, like I said, this our Friday, Frank Ocean versus Weekend. I'm representing Frank Ocean. FIFO, I think we all know FIFA. I mean, I think once you hear the matchups, I think anybody who doesn't follow Dead End would know that FIFO would be representing the Weekend. I mean, hell, him and Mike has re- they reviewed like three of his albums on the channel. So, yes, this Friday, our Friday. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash uh, Friday ATL. The host with the most is also in the building as well. You know yes, what I'm sir. saying? Granddad Willie. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Put it, put it on the glass. You know, put yeah, it on Mike the glass. <laughs> yeah, Mike Craig. FIFO love yeah, He does, man. Him and Mike love weekend. So that's, that's going to be. And I think maybe sometime next year they're going to do a weekend versus weekend, Mike and uh, FIFO, because they love weekend mm. so much. So, um, but yeah. All right. So we got anybody in the question queue? That's, or people that's, scared. That's, people scared. Pe- people scared out here. People, let's people, people, got. a little spooked out here. Let's see, what we got. Let's see, what we got in the um, in the question chat. How come they never? Oh, here we go. Pod questions. Any? Let's let's see if there's uh, any we, pod we, questions. We, we, we got well, so a, a, ask one question and then we got somebody in the queue too. Oh, okay, okay, cool. We got somebody in the queue. Bet, bet, bet. Okay. Sometimes you gotta put a little pressure on. You gotta, you know, make them feel bad. <laughs> I know. Yeah, pull uh, up if you want to start over. And come on in. Like, look, don't be shy, y'all. You we, you you've been here before. You yeah, know what we do. Come you know what I'm saying. Don't be shy. Yeah, yeah right come on. Yeah, pop, pop up up in here. Up. You know what I'm saying? Pop up in here. Uh, I don't think we answered this one. Uh, this is from uh, what's this? Star Star Stolly Stolly Stolly. What? S T R Y S T Starly. Star Starry Style. Starry Style. He said, "What video game weapon would y'all want to see IRL in real life?" Like, Oh, in real okay, I'm about to say what the you know the acronym. Sometimes that should be throwing me off. Blades, um, I think we've done this, but Blades of Chaos. Yeah, what what video game weapon would you want to see in real life? Like the Needler from Halo or Cloud Sword? Any game, any genre. Blades of Chaos. Oh, story style. Okay, thank you, uh, Bloodbath. Because yeah, that that was that. Uh, yeah, that was tearing me up, man. That was tearing me up. Um, a weapon I would want to see in real life. And what was your weapon? Granddad, blades of chaos, blades of chaos. Yeah, that's that's a, you know, look, that's a good one, bro. That's a good one, bro. I just want to see him. I don't want to touch it. I just want to look at it. Yeah, I'm trying to think of a weapon that's like, like I don't want to say like a gun from a game. It's like I can see that shit. Yeah, really. I, I don't want to. I'm think trying of gun to. Yeah, I'm trying to think of something that's just like holy shit. Like, man, that would be cool to kind of have in real life. Uh, oh man. Yo, this is wild. I'm I'm thinking now. As much as I love to shoot shit up and everything, but like I said, I'm trying to. I'm not trying to pick a game where it's like, yeah, this uh, this uh, Magnum 50 caliber Magnum gun or some shit. Like yeah, I don't that's too easy. That. That's, that's too easy. That's, yeah, yeah. Um, fuck. Oh, you. Damn, you damn near probably took my answer with the with the blaze of chaos because that's. Well, can you imagine swinging the motherfuckers around? Bro, and shit? I'm telling you, bro, it's be so much fun, <laughs> bro. And them shit's on shit fire too, crazy. bro. Oh, bro, it's a wrap. That shit would be crazy. Okay. So this is a gun, but this this gun is nowhere near in real life. Well, I will take that back. It probably they probably could make some shit like this. 
But I was going to say for my Destiny players, I was going to say the Galahorn. It's a rocket launcher that it, it tracks, but after it hits its target, it got like mini rockets that will fuck you up. So that, that could be some real shit. They, they, that, that's some Tony Stark shit I, that can probably be made for real. Look, they probably um, got that shit already. You never know. You know what I'm saying? Um, damn. That is a good ass question. All right. Look. I'm trying to think. I mean, because you could say a sword, but like, I mean, because I'm playing this game right now, I would say the Master Sword from Z- <laughs> fucking Zelda. <laughs> That's a collector. I would say that, bro. I would have that know, as a collector's what, item on my wall, saying. right? You know, right? Like the master sword. See, look, Radio Raheem said it. Radio Raheem just said the master sword and the sh- yeah. See, you gotta have the shield too. You gotta have. You gotta have a combo. You can't have one without the other. Bruh, why am I like drawing a blank on what what weapon I would have in real life from a video game? This is crazy. Bloodbath said morph gun from Jack two and three. I don't even think I never. I don't think I played Jack. The Jack and that da- well, the Jack and Daxter series. But, yeah, yeah I don't, I'm sorry, I don't think, bro. I cannot think of a damn game, bro. I can't. I mean, I can't think of a weapon. Fuck. I can't, and, I, and I'm pretty sure later on, I'll be like, oh, I got a weapon. Like it's gonna hit me later on. But damn, I cannot think of one on the spot right now. Mm. Oh. What? Okay, so from <laughs> yo, this, this I remember I used to use the fuck out of this gun. This gun was basically a cheat code. It was OP in this game. The fucking uh. What's the name of it? It was the gun that you could shoot through the walls on Perfect Dark. Oh, I know what you're talking about. What was the name of that damn gun? Uh, chat, help us out. I know what you're talking about, too. I, chat, please help us out. Because I remember whenever we used to be playing uh, the multiplayer, the, you know, the, 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 the man, I used to grab that gun and I used to, I remember, you used to hear it, too. It'd be like, Dew! it had like a, it had a, a very distinct sound when you shot it yeah. and you knew someone had it. And you could just literally, you could literally stand in one spot and just aim it, and then just like find somebody running around. Bop, you got them. Farsight, that was the name of the gun. That was the name of the gun, bruh. Or portal gun, portal gun. Anyway, the 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 gun from Perfect Dark, bruh. They made a real life demo of that laptop gun for Perfect. Oh, for real? That's crazy. That's fucking wild. But no, the gun that can shoot through walls. I can't think of the name of it. What up, Corey Bliss? Um, I think it's called Farsight. I, I think I think Jade named it right. I think it's called Farsight. Did you Google it up or something? You Google it up and look it up. I go up. Well, we I think it's it. called Farsight. But bruh, that's the that's the weapon. That's the weapon I would like to have in real life. Okay, you can bring Christian in. Huh? Hold on. What's good, Corey Bliss? What's what's going on, Black Man? How's it living? How you living? It's Farsight. Oh yeah, Far, oh, Farsight. Yeah, Farsight, Farsight XR twenty. Yep. Bruh. <laughs> That now I would love to have that shit in real life, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I want that gun. Oh lord. I want that gun. But yeah, you can bring you can bring uh all right, Krishna. Trying to be like y'all when I grow up. Oh, stop it, Corey. Stop it. All right, Krishna, you are on the show. Let us know what's going on. Where you at? Where you at? You're on mute, Krishna. Oh yeah, and then we got stove rip in the house. Arterial. Uh oh. Oh man. Uh oh. Y'all hear me? Yeah, there yeah, we go. There you go. You you hey. good now? You good? All right. What no, up, it's up? like I got a freaking <clears throat> phone call, and I'm like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Anyways, <laughs> so I. Uh, I actually got a one got to go for you guys. What's up? Okay. All right. All right. So, rap group from the 90s, which one of these has to go? NWA, <laughs> Wu Tang, Public Enemy, Outcast, MOP. Oh. I know. Um, I'm going to say, even I, though I, I, I'm. I'm I might say NWA. I might, cause MOP, like, they made three good albums, bruh. They made three really, really good albums. And and NWA, they just got they were short lived because the Ice Cube killed the whole damn crew. So I might have to I might have to say NWA. I might have to say NWA on this one. And don't get me wrong, they second album. A lot of people they disrespect their second album. That second album was actually pretty damn good. But yeah, I, yeah, I might have to. I might have to go NWA. Mm. Now, MOP man, Fire Squad, 
uh, first family for life and the Warriors, bruh, like that was. I mean, I granted MOP haven't had her. They really, after Warriors, they didn't really do nothing after that. <laughs> but Fire and Squad '96, '98, and 2000, MOP dropped some good ass. They dropped good ass albums, bruh. So three is more than two for me. I mean, I know NWA is probably more iconic than MOP. Yes, hands down. I'm just basing off the music. I'm just basing off the music and the albums that we got from the groups. So with that, I got to so, go. Big. So for me, I got to I gotta say MOP, even though I love MOP. Yeah, Public Enemy was in the 90s, like, but I mean, they started in the 80s. See, still made I, I'm, I'm going to base mine off of this too, is like just the individual, also the music, but also the individual successes of all the members in these groups as well. Oh, I mean, okay, so, if that's the case, then yeah, yeah. MOP. So, MO, so yeah, but so, I'm talking so, about, I'm not thinking, it, I'm thinking of the group. Uh, I'm put, just talking about impact me, as put, well, too. So, put, yeah. End up, okay, if you put, in, like I was saying, yeah, impactful, impact wise, yeah. I mean, NWA is staying, MOP will leave. Hands yeah. down, but just yeah, I'm just going by strictly music and I, I don't disagree with you because MOP, you. MOP, man, yeah, bruh, was... bruh, like they they made some shit, but yeah, I mean, yeah, if you want to factor, if even if you take out solo, if you just factor in impact, you know, groups impact and stuff, then yeah, MOP is definitely going to be out. But man, now if you would have yeah, said Mob Deep, we'd have some problems. If you would have said Mob Deep instead of MOP. Then I would have been very conflicted with this. Oh yeah, I'm surprised he didn't say uh, Mob Deep mm-hmm. over MOP. But that was because you said he said oh, you said Outcast, didn't you, Christian? The outcast, yeah. I said Outcast. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I'm surprised N-W-A, he didn't say Mob Deep. MOP, yep. Wu Tang, and Public Enemy. Yeah, yeah, I'm surprised he didn't say Mob Deep. That would that definitely would that definitely yeah that definitely would have been that definitely would have been a little tougher. But I think I probably would have went in WA if he just said Mob Deep. Yeah, Took I would have went in WA yeah. too if he said Mob Deep. As yeah. Well. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. That's 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 what you got for us today, Christian. Yeah, that's all I got for y'all. All right, all right. All right. Appreciate that. That's dope. See, look, 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 ain't nothing wrong with a good hip hop question. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Can't, can't go wrong. Ain't nothing wrong. Can't go wrong with that. Let's let's get Stover up in here. All right. Appreciate yep. you, Christian. D E W D E W uh, D E W. Oh, where, where, where's Bloodbath? Oh, he's in here. Yeah, you know, yeah. He's gonna type up. He's gonna Kev, type up. One time for one time. Kev, one time for the one time in the chat. He's gonna type. He's gonna type it up. He know he's gonna type it up. No, he All is. right, appreciate you. There you go. There you go. Hey, look at him. Hit him with that. Hit him with that. Yes, sir. All right, let's get Stover up in here. What up, Stover? I know you. I know you getting in here. Hello. Yeah. What up? What up? What, what up, up? What up? What up? What's good? What's good? What's good, man? Look, look, look. You, First of all, you, Stover, appreciate you always for coming through with the, I with know, the playlist. Bro, Stover doing be coming through with the playlist. For I Friday, man. Like, we appreciate you over here. We appreciate everything you do. So shout out to Arterial Stover one time. Hey, one time. Real, real quick, Stover. So, yeah. I know, because you, you, you was watching the last I Friday. You was there live. So we had the Even Friday video up. A lot of people was questioning... How the hell did I lose that last round? A lot of people in the comments was like, how the hell Cold World beat Criminology? A lot of people was questioning that. What, what are your thoughts on that before you ask us your question? Hmm, Cold World versus Criminology. Hmm. Okay, so who won that one again? Cold World. And, Cold and World. mind you, Cold World. World, Cold World played first and I responded with Criminology. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was that was definitely surprising. Um, so you think it was surprising? Crimi- a little bit, because I thought criminology would take it, but hey, I mean, I gotta listen to Liquid Swords kind of more. I'm more versed into like um Cuban oh, Link than I am Liquid Swords. I got Swords, you. So, I got you. I yeah. got you. I got you. What you get? Yeah, what you so got? I, what you got for us? What you got for us today, brother? I got two things. One is a one gotta go. A okay. Christian had. Okay. Okay. And and the other is a gaming related question. All right, bet, bet, bet. Hit us with the one gotta go. Let it fly. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. One gotta go. The topic is '96 hip hop albums. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Come on. Come on. Hit me. Right. Reasonable doubt. Okay. It was written. Okay. Um, Eight the aliens. Okay. Ooh. Oh man. All eyes on me. Oh. Okay. 
Oh man, I thought you was about to say one more album. I thought you was gonna say, but I'm surprised. I'm, I'm, gonna, say I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say I wanted it. To, I wanted to put in Illadel Pathway. That's what I thought you was gonna play. Ooh. If you would have said that, I think I would have probably passed out. Like I can't pick one. But by you, when you when you add all eyes on me, I might have to say all eyes on me uh-huh. only because only because that second disc. That bro, second disc was not the it, second bro. disc. I only liked like maybe four, three songs on that second disc. The first disc was like, oh, the fir- he could have left the first disc way the way it was. That could have just been the album, and we'd have been like, holy that shit. That man was just trying movie. to get out of that death row deal. That's what he was doing. Yeah, I know, I know, oh. but but yeah, I think you said Tupac all eyes on me. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Tupac. That's Same. that's the one that I got. I it's, think I agree. It's I think pop. I agree. Yeah, it's, it's definitely yeah. pop. And don't get me wrong. I love I love all eyes on me. Don't get it twisted. I love all eyes on me. But yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I might have to pick Pac out of that one. Mm-hmm. I might have to. Well, Only you know pick- what? Yeah, let's take out all eyes on me. Let's put in a Adele Half Life. About that. Now you're being unfair. <laughs> oh, Illadelf ATLians. Reasonable might- doubt. It was written. And this hurts me because you know I'm, I'm more I'm I'm really a fan of this dude. I might have to say it was written. I might have to say it was written, gotta go. Only Ooh. because you know, Star Wars, you know I've said this about it was written a lot. I I I and yes. don't get me wrong, I love it was written. I love it. I just mm-hmm. remember at the time, like Nas created a, a blueprint with Illmatic, and then and it was written, he kind of had to follow it. He kind of had to follow the the ready to die blue. Like he had to follow it. He had to. Because when it was written, when Illmatic came out. It didn't get the credit, you know, it didn't, you know, it didn't get all the commercial success, but then Ready right, to Die, right, right. Ready to Die came out that same year. Like, yeah, all these albums was coming out. Um, fucking Only Built for Cuban Links. Like, he had to follow Nas, I mean, Nas was being fucking being called Escobar. Like, it's just like, he had to follow <laughs> that mafioso, yeah. you know. So, yeah, that's the only reason why I would put, it was written, because it was like, Nas, Nas was the blueprint in Illmatic. But then he followed a blueprint. It was written. That's the only thing. Then, and didn't Biggie kind of follow that up in '97 with that mafia stuff? He was, kind of, sort he was of. He was always kind of like he on was, that. Yeah, he was on that because even with Junior Mafia, yeah. he was on that mafia. He was, he was on that always mafia. on that. Yeah. You know, larger yeah. than life mafia boss. Yeah. The way he dressed, the way he carried yeah. himself. He, he, he yeah. was on that shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Nas definitely. Nas, he had he had to because he was like, yo, look. Everybody, and don't get me wrong, Nas killed it. I mean, he he made a fucking mm-hmm. great ass album. It was written as a fucking he phenomenal did. album. I mean, a lot of casual Nas fans say that album is his best album. So yeah, I mean, I'm not knocking it. I just be like, damn. Back then when I heard, I'm just like, fuck, Nas fucking fire. He followed the boot. He followed someone else's bruh, blueprint. Bro, you know he what had I'm to saying? make sure, like, like bro, he's like, they ain't trying to hear that shit. Maybe. Yeah, so <laughs> he had to follow it, bro. So. Yeah, yeah I'm, 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 I'm gonna say if you put in Illadelph Half Life, I'm gonna have to take out it was written. That's gonna be the one that has to go. Wow. Yeah. I'm gonna say. I definitely have. Yeah. Oh, I'm, go, ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna say only because I, I got to this album real late. Even though people, I'm gonna say Reasonable Doubt because I didn't get to Reasonable Doubt until late because I wasn't like huge into Jay Z until later on. My older brother was like a mm-hmm. huge Jay Z fan, and I think that's why I didn't like Jay Z because my older brother would play his shit constantly. Like he was like he like Jay Z was like no nobody better than Jay Z. No, no, you couldn't tell him nothing different. So it wasn't until like later on when I said, "All right, let me on my own time, kind of like you know really dig into this catalog." I was like, oh, "Okay, it's dope." But I always like Nas out the gate. Like Nas, the first time I heard Nas, I was like, "I fuck with Nas." And I mean, ATL is come on, don't even don't even don't play with it. Don't play with that. And Illadelph Half Life. Yeah, that too. So yeah, I, I I go reasonable doubt just based on you know that factor. But they're all dope albums. They're all classics. So I have an admission. I said Illadelph Half Life because I knew B was a big fan of it. Yes, but yes. Apparently, since you're a big fan, that means I have to go listen to that album. Is it good? Illadelph Half Life. Yes. Yeah, I never. Wow. Listened to it. I mean, are you a fan of Black Thought? Are you a fan of Black Thought? Aren't you? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Oh man, you yes. definitely need man, to listen to that it. album. Yeah, you're gonna you, like it. Man, you definitely need to listen to Odef Half Life, bro. Like, I got oh into God. the roots backwards. To- so I started with um uh I started with what's the album that had Don't Say Nothing on there? Uh, uh Things Fall Apart. Things fall no 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 that's not that, 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 that one. That was the second one I got into. It was the one after that. It was oh, uh, a one, one a foreign allergy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that and then yeah. no 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 no. It, it, that's the one after, yeah. No, it's got the it's got it's got don't say nothing on there. It was like it's, oh game theory, game, game theory, theory. game no, theory. It's not on game. That's not game theory, bro. 
It's the one with the like, or, I think it's the orange cover. Yes, things up. fall apart. Don't no, it's say not. Nothing. Things, no, it's, no, it's not. Bro. How do we go? Then, then, then he, when he's mumbling, he said, "Don't say nothing." Yeah, yeah, and don't you know? Look, is that one neurology? You keep bro. saying the album after it, and I'm naming the albums, and you're like, "No, nah, that ain't it. Bro. That ain't it." Hold on, no, nah, it's the one where he's on the, bro. Look, look. The, tipping point? the tipping point. Tipping point. There it is. Tipping yeah. point. Yeah, he's crazy, you, bro. You name every album, but that album. No, so but I you started... kept saying it after things fall apart, and the run, 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 run no. is right. No, 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 no. I said I, that's the one that I heard. So I started with the tipping point, and then I went backwards. So then I listened to things fall apart and all the other ones. So I, I oh, went my okay. way backwards with with the roots. And then yeah. I called up after that. So that's how I found out about like Black Thought and the Roots was from Tipper. Damn. Point. Yeah, yeah. bro. And 93. I, man, 93. Organic. As that, I, and they, I've been a fan ever since, bro. So yeah, definitely listen. To, uh, it, stop what you're doing, Stover, and listen to Little Half Life right now, bro. Like, okay, what's the other got one got to go? I'm got sorry. You. you say you got a video game one got to go too. My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a video game. It's not a one got to go. It's just a question. Okay. Okay. Got right. you. Has there ever been a, a moment in your life where y- y'all had some homeboys around you, right? Mm-hmm. And they was talking about this video game. Y- you don't know what it is, but they're talking about this video game. They're hyping it up like crazy. And they're telling like, yo, 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 you got to buy this. You got to buy this. You got to play this joint. Dope. And you're like, ah, it's not all that. And they keep saying, you got to buy it. No, no, no. It's dope. It's sweet. Yo, you're going to like it. And then you finally mm-hmm. cave in and you buy it. Yeah. And then you play this shit. And then the shit is not all that. And you just want to look at them like... You really made me waste my money to buy this game. Is there a moment where that ever happened to y'all too? Mm. Mm. Think. Let, let me, me think. think. Let me think. I know. I'm trying to. And see, I, it, it, it's. I'm trying to think of like the more recent stuff because a lot of stuff is online and co-op. I can't think of anything that was from like the Nintendo Genesis. That, for one, because I wasn't buying the games really right. myself. Exactly. We were just mm-hmm. getting them bought for us, and we usually knew. We made ourselves like games back in the day because, like, we didn't have the luxury of just like it was a going yeah. In. By the time, by the time Sega, I kind of started buying some of my games myself because I was buying my music at a really early age. So yeah, I was buying some of the games, not all of them though. It was some where I'd be like, "Oh, I gotta save some money to get this damn game." But yeah, my parents was buying most of my games too. Still, um, hmm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Damn man, this. A long, long, hefty. Well, after t- while I'm thinking, what what's the game? What's the game that happened to you that your boy hyped up about Stover? Probably, it sounds like it sounds like something you remember that hit you and you pissed about it still. Kind of some sports games like the newer versions of Madden. Like, oh, they finally updated. They finally switched it up, and I buy them. Like, dude, it's the same shit like years ago, and 2K to an extent too. So, I would probably go those games, right, and I maybe know. Call of Duty a little bit as well. Bro, I know. Oh, okay. And I got yeah. one. And I mean, I remember I used to always get dogged out about this. The Grand Theft Auto, what was that? Vice City. You remember I, Vice City? Mm. Remember, remember I told you I said I never really, until this last, until they made Grand Theft Auto online, like that whole online world on Grand Theft Auto, I'm here for it. The Grand Theft Auto, the game, game, like I've never been, I've never caught on to Grand Theft Auto series game. Mm-hmm. All the way from the first one, the second one, when they first made it 3D in, in Grand Theft Auto 3, you know, Grand Theft Auto 4. Like, I never got into those Grand Theft Auto games. Now I remember. Oh, you never got into 4? Never got. I, I, mm. I, I got tired of that game so damn quick. So yeah, and I, and I and it was crazy. I kept buying them. Like I kept buying them and kept being disappointed because I I kept falling for the hype. But I remember all, I remember specifically Vice City. My boy was like, "Bruh, you gotta play Vice. You gotta play this one. You gotta get the this grant. They got it right with this one. They got it right with this one." And I was like, "All right, cool. I'm gonna get it, man." Yeah. Yep. Unpopular and, then, and, I, and, and I remember when San Andreas came out, I was like, you ain't going to fool me this time. Like, so yeah, like <laughs> all them joints, bro. So yeah, Vice City is definitely the one that I remember some of my homies was like, bro, okay, I know you didn't like the last, you got to get this one. This the one, this is it. And it's still this is it. Yeah, I got mine. Cool. I, just, I just, it just dawned on me. I got mine. So and this is actually from my younger brother. So my family, my family all over the place. So my younger brother hyped up and got me to buy Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter, I think it was, I think it was mm. World. And he was like, because he loves Monster Hunter. He's like, you got to play Monster Hunter. Like, you got to do this and this. And, you know, we can play together and blah, blah, blah. And this all that stuff. So I bought the game and it just was not hitting. It, and I tried for like a good two months, two, three months, just playing almost every day. I'm You're like, forcing this yourself. I was forcing myself. And then I was like, I just told my brother, I was like, bro, this ain't hitting for me. 
it's just not hitting. He was like, how and he couldn't understand it because like he loves the game and he's like, you like because I on paper I would like a game like that, but but for some reason Monster Hunter, I just it's just it ain't click it didn't click with me. So I bought it and I was like, and then and then he had the nerve to try to get me to buy a new one came out. He said, nah, but this one better. I was like, nah, bro, you ain't doing that to me again. Nope, like one and so I was one and done. So yeah, Monster Hunter is definitely the franchise, and I'm not saying it's a bad game. It just didn't click for me at all. So, but he was hyping that shit up like crazy. Like he was like, "Yo, this is the this this is the shit." So, yeah, that's mine. I always feel this way. If you love it so much, you're hyping up so much. Why don't you copy for me? So I'm right, bro. Right, that's what I should have said. <laughs> Man, that shit is crazy. That shit is crazy. Um, yeah. Ugh. All right. Well, that's all you got for us, over. Yeah, that's all I got, man. All Fresh right, out. man. Appreciate you. Hey, look, we we'll see you Friday. We'll yep. see you Friday, man. First R and B joint. So, you know. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, you guys take care and uh, D E W. D C D E W. It's strong, baby. It's strong. Woo. D E W. All right, man. Y'all. All right. Peace. All right. Peace out. Peace. Peace out. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Moving is strong. It's everywhere. Bruh, it's running oh wild, bro. God. Oh my god, y'all stop it! <laughs> hey, shit, bl- hey, hey, Kev, you, you, he in the chat. You might, you might as well pop up in here late, uh, for the post show. I'm pretty sure y'all can do some dead in, dead in, uh, wrestling catching up. Um, but yeah, before we get out of here, uh, Granddad, anything you want to tell the people? Anything you got going on this week? What's, 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 what's coming down the pipeline? Any, any ex- anything, anything you want to keep in the wraps or what? <laughs> what you talking about? Wait a minute. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just asking a simple question. Okay, okay, look, because I love y'all. I'm going to say this. Look, look out. Something, something, a little something might occur on Thursday. I'm just going to say that. A little something, something, something slight Thursday. Mm -hmm. But then we got uh, Friday on Friday, and I'll be there hosting, you know, doing what I do. And uh, so, yeah, so look out for me on our Friday. I'm going to try, maybe, if I get some time to stream something. But if not, I'll catch y'all on Friday. I Friday, but uh, yeah, look out, look out on Thursday. Something might, something might happen. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he just <laughs> missed it. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Um, uh, yeah, of course, be on the lookout for our Dead in Hip Hop live tomorrow at nine p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, yes, the I Friday is going down. The first all the first R and B matchup I Friday. Frank Ocean versus The Weekend. Um. And what else is going on? Oh yeah, I mean that's pretty much about it. I'm, I, bro. I'm sorry. I, look, look. The way I play Zelda, Zelda I, I wouldn't mind streaming it. Yeah, down, I wouldn't. Bro. I wouldn't mind streaming Zelda. But the way I play Zelda and just how, like, bro, I'm crazy. I ex, I go everywhere. Like I explore everywhere. I don't. So yeah, I can definitely see. I can definitely see that stream not being fun to folks. You know what I'm saying? Unless they just hear just to chat yeah, with me. But, Zelda's not but, a fun game to stream. Yeah, it's not it, a fun game to it's stream. Like, it's I, like. Yeah. Yeah, that's you know to what I'm yourself. Saying? That's so, the game you sit to yourself and you, you just gotta sit, bro. You just yep, and just and just go to work on that bad boy. So, but yeah, um, yeah, like I said, um, Dead and Hip Hop Live tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Um, if you listen, to is the mic still on? Be sure to check that out. A new episode will be up tomorrow. Um, if you a fan of sports, make sure you follow a Dead and Sports YouTube channel. They're gonna be going live. They are probably live right now, or if they are not live right now, they're gonna be live in about maybe ten more minutes. So they're going to be talking about the whole John Morant fiasco and the, these pr- the previous uh, matchups that just uh, happened, the Sixers, Celtics, and Nuggets, and the Suns, and probably touch on uh, tonight's game right now. So be sure to head over there once this stream is done. And mm-hmm. yeah, man, appreciate y'all, man. Uh, uh, Twitch.tv forward slash ATL. Be sure to come through, kick it with us. We're gonna be we're gonna be on our slow mo, our R and B smooth tip this Friday. So it, it should be it should be dope, man. I'm looking forward to it. I have no idea who I think is gonna win. I mean, I know people love Frank Ocean, and I love I know people love The Weekend. So I mean, I think it's gonna be a pretty much a pretty even, you know, a good even matchup or whatever. You know, it might come yeah, down to it, the last it, round or some shit like that. We don't know, but it's gonna be a nice little change of pace, y'all. Look, look, yeah, we gonna let the we gonna let the rappers. Yeah, uh, man, take man, a break. yeah, man. I'm 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 hip hop out right now. I've been I've been I have not been listening to no hip hop bro i just been so sick of hip-hop as of right now so yeah i just told people like let's do some r&b this this time let's make it our first r&b joint because we never when we started doing our friday we never pinned this as a hip-hop only you know thing it's just look you pick artists we, we go artists go against each other you know what i'm saying like we can do any genres so it's just like we never we never pinned it down to just only hip-hop so 
We're like, let's do an R&B joint. So there it is. But um, yeah, man, you know, um, we will see y'all when we see y'all. As always, man, appreciate you guys listening. Appreciate you guys watching us. Make sure you tell everybody about us, all that. And, and if you are, that's that's dope. If you are spreading the word and everything, that's dope as fuck. So we we always love folks showing some love. And, you know, the subs, everybody that come through here, chat with us, keep the chat active, all that other stuff, man. So we will see y'all next week for our gaming week. And uh, we're going to still try to get that damn Forza Horizon 5. Hopefully. We'll see. I got to figure, figure out how we can get the, the co-op, the, the multiplayer. If anyone know how to do it, please hit me up in Discord. Is this something I'm, I'm not doing right? But we're going to try to get that. We, gonna, we wanna, definitely want to get that going for one of our gaming streams next week. So uh, we will see y'all when we see y'all. Peace. Peace out, y'all. Peace, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, you know, I do. I definitely need to hit up Eric Diogen because he definitely would know. Yeah, he'll know. We'll get it figured out, y'all. We'll, we definitely gonna get it figured out because, like, we yeah, I want to play it too because, like, yeah, yeah, that's gonna be a fun yeah, stream man. to do. That yeah. is, that is, that's gonna be a, that's definitely gonna be a fun stream. Yes, sir. But oh, uh, man. but yeah. So y'all, look, we uh, we gonna get out of here. Like, okay. I, this look. this man, this man is sad. No D W none. This nah, man bro, is sad, look. y'all. Nah, nah, bro. Look, look, ain't even that. Like, look, I wouldn't look. I look. I got, I got something I gotta get done anyway. Uh, uh okay. there's, there's pertinent things All we right. need to get get done. B. You know what I'm talking about, but uh, I got you. I got so, you. So, 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 look, I, no DW tonight, but look, look, don't worry about it, y'all. Look, 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 look. When the time is right, we we gonna we gonna get up on that, get get back on the DW train. Like we got, I gotta find a, a nice, a nice. Uh, I don't know. We might ooh, night of champions is gonna be a big show. We might do a night of champions either because we missed out on backlash, and I'm mad about that. But uh, I'll try to see if we can swing a night of champions DW, especially with the new. Uh, championship belt uh, unveiled, and and we got the finals with that, and and everything else going on with that. So yeah, uh, we, we'll try to swing something like that. Okay. But uh, but you know, I appreciate y'all coming through. Like I said, you know, we thank you as always. Uh, we're gonna raid the Geechee Gamer tonight. She's playing uh, Apex Legends, so we're gonna show her some love. But uh, like I said, we will see y'all on Friday for the R and B Slow Jams. Not all gonna be slow. Some gonna be some bops. Some up, up tempo, some slow tempos, but it's gonna be some sanging niggas. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be some sanging going on. I don't know. B might even sing a little bit. Hey, you never know. You never hey. know. You never know. I don't know. If if, if if my manager is watching, I mean, you never know, bro. I might, <laughs> I might, I might never know what I might do. Never know. You never know. But so make sure you tune into that. Like it's like B said, twitch.tv slash iFriday ATL. It's gonna be a good time. And uh, like I said, <clears throat> maybe, maybe you might see something prior to that. Might see you. Mm-hmm. You might. You might. Something might happen. Something right. might happen. But what's about to happen now? It's this goddamn raid. So uh, it's this raid. <laughs> so make sure y'all show the Geechee Gamers some love, and we will see y'all next week for our gaming week. We'll be playing. You are gonna find out when we find out, and that's how that go. All right. Until <laughs> next time, y'all. We out of here. Peace out, y'all. Peace. Peace. Did it go touring? Oh yeah, it did. It went touring. Yeah.